uh, desalination will be required. We have also looked at issue of infrastructure. We believe that Rift Valley, which constitutes 31%, 38% of the total Kenyan landmass, still needs access. A lot of areas are still rural, they have no access, so roads are still a priority. And the rest of the infrastructure, including the, uh, the infrastructure from Lamu, crisscrossing across the northern parts of the country, including Rift Valley, is still a critical area that government must invest to be able to unlock the potential here. We've also looked at the entire sector of conservation, wildlife, forestry, and think that there is still a lot that needs to be invested by government beyond 2022 to be able to unlock the potential that exists there. Tourism is one area also we've discussed, particularly improving the challenges that are currently being faced around our existing national parks like Masai Mara, where communities don't feel directly benefiting from that resource, but also unlocking the rest of the potential in Central Rift Valley, in the Northern Rift Valley, on the area of tourism, which we think uh, can be able to turn around this region from being uh, a region of many problems to a region that is, uh, that is producing for its people, but also for the country. We have also looked at trade, business, industry. We feel that that potential has not been fully utilized. We feel that uh, we are not exporting more. We feel that uh, uh, the country is importing more of what it can be able to produce, including maize. It is, it is importing meat, it is importing fish, it is importing literally eggs, it is li importing literally anything that it has the potential to produce. So, and we think that these are critical areas which our region can be able to focus on if, and, 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 and those are the priorities that we will be telling the next government, this is what we want and this is what we'll be using to negotiate our votes, to negotiate our ability and to be able to negotiate our, our place and the hustler's place on the table. There are many others, including the uh, policy and legislation, including how do we strengthen uh, implementation uh, 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 structures, how do we strengthen devolution, uh, which we think that uh, uh, during this very term, the strength of devolution has not been to where we will want it to, to, to be. I think uh, the next government should be able to take this much further and make sure that those benefits uh, emerge from the grassroots. We have agreed to form a committee of 14 to work on the details. And as I summarize, the issues we are coming up are issues that are going to be beneficial to the grassroots. They are issues we will want to see developed from bottom up. So we've set up a committee of 14. Each county is represented. They will be working closely with the technical experts in the different sectors who are daughters and sons of the Rift Valley region. They have a two weeks time frame to work on this, to be able to come up with a, with, a, with, a, with a draft blueprint, which we will convene again to come and discuss this and eventually go down to the people, collect more views, uh, and, 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 and within not more than three, four months, we will have had issues we think are going to be critical for Rift Valley to push for. As you can see the gathering of leaders here, 
It is about all counties, all communities of Rift Valley. They are all represented here. And we have said moving forward, it is going to be issues that will define the leadership and processes of government. It is going to be issues. It is not going to be about tribes. It's not going to be about individuals. It is about the issues which the people of Rift Valley and their leaders believe that these are issues that government must tackle. And we will be discussing these issues with Deputy President William Ruto, who is going to be one of the candidates for election in 2022. He comes from Rift Valley, but we don't want to assume that he knows the problems of Rift Valley because he's a national leader. We don't want to assume and go to bed that he will solve our problems. We will be also coming with issues of Rift Valley and telling him, these are the issues we will want you to deliver. Tell us if you want to deliver them, we are together with you. If you don't want to deliver them, then give us the opportunity to look elsewhere. So that is the stand we've taken as these leaders. And for a matter of emphasis on what I've already said, I will ask uh, the patron of the Rift Valley elected leaders, Weshimua Onesmas Kemani Ngojiri, to come and add a few issues. Well, Asante Sana. Sita kuwa na mengi kwa sababu vile governor amesema na ndiyo amekuwa kituongoza kwa leo. Yale mambo amesema ni hayo tunataka kuweka ngufu na tunataka kwanza kupea heshima kubwa kwa magovernors ambao wamekuja kuwa nasi siku ya leo si jambo la kawaida kuweza kukutana na magovernors na MP na senators pamoja lakini Mungu ametusaidia tumeweza kufaulu kwa kuweza kutana pamoja na kuwa na mafikirio ambayo inapelekana pamoja ningesema hivi kwa sababu sehemu zingine 47 counties wanakutana na deputy president na jambo hili ni la muhimu sana na nyinyi wetu wa media muangazie sana Sio sehemu nyingi kwa uchaguzi ambao umekuja na mwingine umekuweko umekuweko kwa watu regions kukutana na kuweza kuwa na mapendekezo ya mipangilio yao. Sio nyingi. This is very unique. Na tunashukuru kwa sababu ya leadership ambayo tuko nayo ya Rift Valley na kujiweka pamoja na kuzungumza. Na ninakubaliana na governor vile amesema hapa hatutaki kuwa assume at our candidate deputy president Ruto Ati ya kiingia anajua shida zetu zote. I agree and we have agreed all of us here. He will be very busy looking the, the whole Kenya. Na outside even Kenya. Investment na kila kitu yote. Kwa hivyo lazima tujipange ili na sisi tukue na mpangilio wetu. Watoto wengine wakija kumuona. Hata si watu wa Rift Valley. Tunamuona. Tunapendekesa nini? Mambo yetu. Na musisa hao. Hata mambo ya amani. Tumeazungumuzia sana. Kwa sababu hatuwezi kukubali. Baada ya mwaka tano kuna kuwa mzuko zuko. Hiyo tumekataa. Tutakaa na amani na kupendana. Saa hii, hata wale wanjaribu kuja kuinsighti Rift Valley. Mukane njini anajiuliza. Ninakua insighted ni pigane na nani. Mukikuwa anajiuliza. Ninakua insighted ni pigane na nani. Muluya hiko huko the same. Mujalua hiko huko the same. So this thing is so good for us. Na musione ni sisi peke yetu. After this, tunayenda mashinani. Kila mjumbe, kila governor, tutaenda kushirikiana kwa mashinani ili tupate views kutoka kwa watu ili tukikuja kutana kwa hiyo kamati imechaguliwa watu 14 tutakuwa tuna present mambo yetu na pendekezo zetu bila tutakuwa namna gani na tunahakikishia watu wa Rift Valley nikiwa moja ambaye niko huko sisi Rift Valley tutakaa kwa amani na hakuna mtu atatuletea mambo ya incitement sisi tumechoka na hiyo tumeokoka tuko mbele kabisa Tutaongoza katika 47 counties kuweka amani na kuweka uchaguzi wa haki na ukweli. Hiyo tuko tayari kabisa. Na kama vile mnajua si kwa hasura. Deputy President is our candidate. So we must be very disciplined. We must work with the other counties kwa sababu si ndio tuna mtoto ambaye anaenda kuoa. Na mtoto akienda kuoa lazima tuende kwa heshi. Kwa heshima. Tunaheshimu wengine kauti zingine na hawa tuheshimu tumepeana sehemu zingine lakini sasa tuna mtoto. 
lazima tumchunge aweze kutuongoza and we are happy kwa yeye kusikiza every county anasikiza wafugaji anasikiza kabila zote anawasikiza na tunashukuru kwa sababu ya hiyo kwa hivyo ningesema tumeungana pamoja kwa kukubaliana hiyo mambo ambayo imezungumziwa siku ya leo ni ya maana na tutaendelea kuzungumzia hiyo asanti sana na Mungu awabariki asanti sana swali moja mbili peke yake ama tumalizie hapo Sultan Stefan You know, we did not come here to discuss about terms because those are constitutional issues. We are discussing about the agenda for the local people whom we represent in Rift Valley. And, and we are planning ahead. As we continue with our day-to-day -day work, we are planning ahead on what that agenda should be. Because every government is elected on an agenda for the people. This time, that agenda, we are pushing it from the bottom mm -hmm. so that it becomes uh, an agenda for government to be able to, 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 to execute within uh, the five years that uh, the mandate will be given in an election. Thank you. I think what the president has done in Nyanza by opening projects is good. We support. Yes. But again, water remains a cardinal need for the people of Rift Valley. When it comes to Aurora and Kimware, even those, those projects were stopped. And Itare, they are still a priority for the people of Nakuru yes. and for the people of El Geyo Maraquet, which as leaders we are saying we are committed that these projects be seen through. If it is going to go to the next government, which I believe we are going to be forming, so be it, it is still going to be our priority. We will want that government to deliver. That was not a subject of our discussion today. We are discussing from 2022 moving forward and talking about how do we put our agenda solid, an agenda that is informed by the people and make sure that becomes our negotiation for the next government. Thank you. Number one, it wasn't uh, our agenda today, but it has done what it has done. County governments have also done what they have done. But you see, as we sort out what is going on now, you must also think ahead. And that thinking is what informed our agenda today as Rift Valley Region. Asante sana. Pardon? It has done a lot. It has done a lot. It has also done not done certain things. And so we as leaders must think ahead and see what are those issues. This is the very first time Rift Valley Region leaders have co collectively, collectively held meetings to discuss about issue-based. 
Before, it was about communities discussing their own issues uh, on their own. But this time we've decided the collective issues that government must address should be issues for the entire region, which is actually a, a very critical region in this country. Thank you. Asante sana. That will be for another day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.